Hi, this is Paul from paulbrubby.com. I wanted to go through a current trade I'm in with my uh, inner circle. Now, full disclosure, Zoom, we are actually in this in our blend investment portfolio, an average holding price of $131. So we are in really massive profit and we're very confident in this stock. Um, but after earnings, we saw some profit taking uh, in the markets. And uh, although we didn't want to add to our position in the blend because it would uh, really increase our average holding price, we wanted to trade it, to swing trade it on this intraday type of time frame here. So let's talk about the behavior because this is what it's all about for me is this is why I developed the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite on TradeTheFifth.com was to uh, measure that behavior of these uh, profit taking pullbacks and then look to get back in on the main trend. So this is a two hour chart on Zoom uh, using the trading view uh, version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite on TradeTheFifth.com. So we had earnings down here, you see the, B, the E in the red, we had the big gap up and then naturally the natural human behavior here is to, to take some profit, uh, to sell some of your shares that you've got and that caused this profit taking pullback. Now the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite are designed to actually measure that behavior on that pullback and if it meets certain criteria the likelihood is it's going to go on, continue on that main trend and hit our automated fifth wave target zone in blue at the top here, around about $520. So, first of all, the wave four pulled back and found support in the red zone of our automated pullback zones there. So that represents a 75% probability it's going to go on, find support and make that new wave five high, 75%. The next and most important two things here that we look for are our 535 oscillator during this wave four pullback and support here that it pulls back between 90 and 140 percent if i zoom in there you can see it just did that there so that's really really critical the next thing we use is our false breakout stochastic now this is pretty cool in that the false breakout dots on the top here denote a really strong bullish trend now, when the stochastic pulls back against that strong bullish trend and crosses over in the oversold zone during that wave four, uh, we then get another tick in the box that this behavior is normal and there's a good probability it's going to go on and hit that fifth wave target zone. So we, we are, you know, we're looking at those pullback zones, the 535, the stochastic, building a picture of that behavior during that profit taking. And then we are looking for the entry. Now we use the 6-4 moving average high for entries um, here, which is the green moving average. Now what we want to do also is look for uh, pivot points where we, you know, sensibly go long. So uh, full disclosure, we went aggressive out of this um, here around about 375, uh, but then it pulled back and I made it risk free too early. Uh, and it took us out. So we, we, we uh, you know, we didn't lose anything. We didn't win anything. But then decided that this fifth wave is still strong. So I wanted an entry above this pivot point here that failed recently. Uh, so 410.61 was the entry. And the stop loss was below this recent pivot. Because, again, looking at behavior, we've got a higher support zone than this original wave four. So the trend now is returning to that bullish. So entry at 410.61 uh, a couple of days ago, and now you're going on this two hour chart. Yesterday we closed with a nice bullish pennant here forming a bullish flag. So I've gone really aggressive on this trade management strategy in that I've locked in 100% profit times risk. Okay, so if we'd have risked, uh, you know, ten thousand dollars on this trade right now, will be ten thousand dollars in profit locked in, unless it gaps down below there. Right now, pre-market looks pretty strong. Uh, we're looking to continue and for Zoom to make new highs. This previous wave three is the all-time high for Zoom, around about four hundred seventy-eight dollars. Now, what we're looking for is this to push through and hit our fifth wave target zone through. 500, but we need to manage it carefully because a lot of time this this $500 this psychological level will mean further sell-offs now not sell-off as in dumping the stock it will be uh, profit taking you know some people will have that in mind $500 let's sell some shares so we may get a little correction coming back down uh, but we want to make sure we're locking in good profits so 
Um, just wanted to explain the behavior, how I got into this trade. Again, feel very comfortable with Zoom at the moment because we're making big profit in the investment portfolio, but wanted to swing it as well to add to the profit for Zoom. Uh, that we've already got again swing trading and blend investing usually in a separate account uh, but uh, this is going very well and we've got profits locked in on this swing trade so hopefully that helps helps understand uh, how we use this um, Elliott wave indicator suite on trade for swing trading stocks